Caroline, congratulations. I could not be happier for the two of you. Um, and I think I speak for everyone when I say I could not be happier that myself or any of the guys here never have to live with Isaac again. Thank you for that. <laughs> um, but really, though, he's, he's pretty easy to live with. Um, you'd never have to flush when you pee, and you, you only have to decorate your walls with magazine covers, so it's going to be great. Um, but seriously, though, on the real, uh, love both of you. So excited for the both of you, and, uh, and congratulations. Hey, Caroline. Uh, just wanted to say congratulations on uh, getting engaged to Isaac. Plenty of great reasons to marry a guy like Isaac. Good Christian guy. He uh, cares about helping people other than himself. Really dedicated to public service. Really admire all that about him. And I'm certain that both of you are going to have a long and successful marriage. But in order to ensure that you actually do, I think there's a couple of cautionary things that we need to go over. Uh, number one, and you probably know this now to this Christmas time, uh, during the whole month of December, Isaac will play Silent Night by Taylor Swift about 50 times a day. So if you like Taylor Swift and you want to continue liking her, you might want to be out of the house as much as possible during this month. Secondly, and this is kind of a big thing, Isaac, um, well, if he's ever in the bathroom and he excitedly like asks you to walk in there, he, he's going to ask you to look at his poop. And the best thing to do, I didn't enjoy doing this either, but the best thing to do is just, you know, bite the bullet, look at it, and this is the big thing, compliment him on how big it is. Otherwise, he's going to get kind of grouchy and a little moody after that. But uh, yeah, you do those two things, everything's going to be just fine. And uh, yeah, congratulations and uh, wish both of you the best. Hey Isaac, first off, congratulations and Merry Christmas. Had to escape from the family for a few minutes to record this. But um, hope you all are doing well and having a, a good day. Wish I could be there for the big day this week. But um, just want to share a few memories from Isaac, uh, from living with him freshman year. Um, I am sure that y'all have no problem getting used to living with each other real quickly, but definitely make sure his hygiene's good. I know uh, that kid has the best breath of anyone who doesn't brush their teeth that I've ever known. And um, without a doubt, though, one of the just most warm, loving people I've ever ever met, ever had the really the great honor of, of spending some time with, with his family as well. So I have no doubt that You'll be impressed by his cleaning skills. That kid definitely keeps up a very tidy living space. So you might have a little role reversal there. Um, so Carolyn, I'm sure you'll have no trouble with any of that aspect at all. Um, but seriously, congratulations, y'all. I, I don't have any special story to say per se, um, except for the teeth brushing thing. I would really, uh, really watch out for that. But um, like I said, congratulations, both y'all. I hope to see you this summer. I hope to see you for the wedding. And um, until then, best, best wishes. Hi Caroline, my name is Zach. Isaac and I were roommates freshman year, so that was 2007, and I am pleased to say that we spent two weeks sleeping in the same bed. I'm serious. It was fine. It went okay. No touching. Um, so just some things you need to know about Isaac before you take this leap. Well, I, I assume you already have at this point, and if I'm if you haven't, you're not seeing this. But I assume you have. Um, I would. If I was you. Uh, okay, anyway. So, first thing you need to know, which is a good thing. We're going to start with a good thing. When Isaac gets stressed out, he cleans. Which is the best quality I think you could ever have in somebody you're going to live with and spend the rest of your life with, which I assume you will, because you should. Um, number two. He doesn't brush his teeth very often, or at least he didn't used to. I, I assume he still has all of them, and they're pretty like they were. Uh, but he brushed his teeth once every two weeks, which I thought was kind of odd. But when he did, he did it for like ten minutes at a time. So, you know, whatever. It makes up for it, right? Not so much. Um, third thing, uh, congratulations. I'm very happy for both of you. I wish I could be there if I am not. I am currently traveling. I'm in Minnesota. Here's the snow. <laughs> uh, waiting for my fiance to pick out a wedding dress with her whole family. I am chauffeuring today. Anyway, sorry. I'm rambling. This is not about me. This is about you all. Um, congratulations. Uh, I hope you have many years to look forward to, and I think you do. Um, Isaac's a great guy. He's a great 
person to live with. He's a great person to share time with. And I hope to see you all soon. And congratulations. This is Alex. Uh, live with Isaac our freshman year in Horton uh, when we were on the swim team together. Um, first of all, I just wanted to congratulate you both on, on your engagement. Uh, Isaac is a, a great guy, and I know you guys will both have a very long and happy life together. Um, so I just wanted to tell you about one thing you might you know, need to uh, take some getting used to uh, when you guys are living together, and that's uh, Isaac's shopping habits. Um, so uh, freshman year, um, when we were first moving into the dorms, I noticed Isaac had a pretty, pretty good collection of uh, retro Jordans, and I was pretty impressed by that uh, until I found out where he actually got them from. Um, so apparently Isaac uh, likes to do all of his shoe shopping out of the back of people's trunks in uh, Greensboro Mall parking lots um, to buy knockoff like uh, Nikes and Jordans uh, and stuff like that. So you know maybe when you're you're married, you could you know actually take him inside the mall and, and buy him a real pair of shoes. Uh, I, know, I think he'd really appreciate that. Um, but all kidding aside, um, you know, hopefully I can make it there uh, for your engagement uh, on the 29th. Uh, I'm currently stuck in Indiana right now because of a blizzard. Uh, so hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, I can get out of here and and can get uh, back to to North Carolina. Uh, but if I don't, uh, you know, look forward to meeting you here before you guys get married. From the African Plains, our boy Daniel came to the Piedmont of North Carolina, specifically the 336. Looking for a friend, he found one in Isaac O'Hare. Sure did. This is Benjamin, but his friends call him Ben, just like Isaac calls him Ben. Ben's from Morganton, which is the mountains of North Carolina. Ben, any funny stories you want to share about Isaac? Yeah. Little did I know what I was getting into when I moved in with this guy. All I knew, he liked Brett Favre a lot. But I had no idea he was going to play James Taylor songs all the time. Literally all the time. But specifically, Caroline in my mind. But really, Caroline, you were on his mind. Um, and, oh yeah, one other thing. He likes to show off a little bit. So, Caroline, you might need to tell him to put some clothes on every now and then. Daniel? Isaac is a kleptomaniac. Literally will steal silverware, trash bags, trash cans. Trust me, I haven't always participated, but I've been nearby to witness it. Literally, the first time I met him, he was stealing silverware from Lenore. So, Caroline, hopefully he doesn't steal anything from your relatives. Be aware of if your grass in your backyard starts looking a little brown, it's probably because he's taking wizards outside. Oops. Ben, on a serious note, though, what do we want to talk about with Isaac? Well... First of all, just the good friend and brother that he is. He's faithful to encourage, faithful to lift lift us up when we're down, and always there to laugh and enjoy life with. Uh, but for you, I know he's going to be faithful by your side to lift you up and encourage you in Christ and in y'all's marriage and just uh, be there to love you and to serve you. Yeah, Isaac is my best friend, or one of my best friends. Um, lived together for two, two and a half years. Um, he's always been encouraging. I know he's going to be encouraging and really take care of you. He's put um, his roommates before him, and he's going to put you before himself. And he really uh, just wants to love you like that. And I'm so happy for you guys and just excited that uh, we get to be witness it and just be with you guys. So Isaac, from Ben and Sessie or Daniel, your lighthouse is gone, brother. We love you, man, but it is... Yeah, the ship's coming in. Ship's coming on. Ahoy, ahoy. Bye, bro. We love you. We love y'all. Peace. Well, I'm assuming you are. Uh, I, Isaac asked us to do these uh, videos to tell him what you have to look forward to. And I'm sorry to say that uh, there's not much you're going to change about Isaac. Um, so they say women, this is what Mr. Wells told me at least, women marry men thinking that they can change them, and that's just not going to happen. Because Isaac is impeccable already. Two things that come to mind. One, Isaac is impeccably dressed. Fine gentleman to the nines every single day. Number two, Isaac has incredible hygiene. Showers every day, multiple times a day, brushes his teeth. Four or five times a day, Isaac, correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh... 
those, those things just aren't going to change. So I'm sorry. But um, on a more serious note, I do want to congratulate you guys. Um, first time, uh, I think I had a serious talk with Isaac. It was about you, Caroline. And um, he was talking about how distraught he was over you uh, giving him the cold shoulder a little bit, coming home from uh, London, and uh, I shared with him that Allison did the same thing with me um, coming back from Ethiopia, and um, I think it's all worked out. Uh, so that's a cool story of um, the Lord kind of having uh, things moving according to his his timing and his plan and and just trusting in him and being able to to uh, uh, believe in his uh, um, plans and what he has for us is is um, is a good thing so congratulations i 'm really excited for you guys and i 'm going to start praying for you guys right now Isaac Carolina and company congratulations Woo! from the o 'Hares and riddles here in Greensboro. We just, is super excited. Yay! We just have a quick video of a couple things that you can expect now that you live with, well, will be living with Isaac. And I'm going to start off since I was his first ever, and as far as I know, still favorite ever, roommate. <laughs> uh, the first thing I would say is expect, I think it goes without saying, everyone knows Isaac's a pretty artistic guy. He always has been very interested in the arts, and it started at a young age. Uh, you can expect him to probably still be carving artwork into the bed, because um, we know very well he still lives in the same bunk beds, even today, that mm -hmm. during nap time, very many years ago, he carved an alligator with a pocket knife that we had just got. You can expect that. Uh, Virginia reminded me, a word of caution for the bunk beds, which I assume you guys will still be using, <laughs> is be easy with the ladder, uh, because when Isaac was a young boy, he had a very specific route. He would run in the door, come around, and then quit U-turn and whip and dive headfirst into the bed. And one time my mom moved the ladder, and Isaac was unaware of this, and he came in during his usual route, and when he dove, he dove headfirst into the ladder. So just a word of caution, I know that you're very clean, and you probably <laughs> will clean a lot, Caroline. Exactly. When you clean, keep the bunk bed ladder where it is so Isaac doesn't accidentally dive into it. Um, the last thing I think for me is going to be bathroom related. Uh, this is going to be a struggle. Uh, the biggest thing is just go ahead now and uh, buy the bullet and invest in shower shoes. <laughs> because uh, if, if y'all's shower will be anything like our shower was, there will be a pretty thin film of mold everywhere, except little circles where your feet go. And that's how we rolled back in the day. And I assume that's probably how he still rolls and will roll. So get the shower shoes. I'm going to pass it on to my wife who has a more updated and different view of living with an O'Hare male. Okay, Caroline, you're not just going to need shower shoes for the shower. You're going to need them when you go use the restroom. Because O'Hare boys are not exactly good aimers when they use the restroom. So you'll need to get a mop to kind of clean up the mess around because it doesn't smell so good. It's just not going to be what you're used to. So you're going to need shower shoes and a mop to use the restroom, just to brush your teeth, use the restroom, whatever it is you need to do. And another thing that you're going to need to plan out before you get married is an evacuation plan. Not from the house, not from being robbed, but from Isaac's Dutch ovens. Because that is what Micah has recently found to be a really sweet thing to do as our bedtime routine. You know, we're reading our Bible, praying together, and then it's a Dutch oven. So go ahead and plan that out and get ready. And other than that, you're going to laugh a lot and eat a lot of macaroni and cheese. So get excited. Mm. <laughs> and I also think you should invest in some earplugs. Um, <laughs> I had a room next to Isaac growing up. Well, when he got a little older and he moved into Aaron's old room, 
And I used to have to text him at, I don't know, midnight to tell him to turn his music down because my wall was thumping and I couldn't sleep. So yeah, go ahead and get the earplugs. Because he, he'll put on music and then go to sleep and let it Yeah, it'll keep just running. keep going. It, but I could not sleep through that. Um, and also, if you ever come home with a to-go box of um, leftovers that you really want to eat the next day, or ice cream, definitely Girl Scout cookies. They're gone. So you're going to need like your own little safe to put in the refrigerator and freezer so he won't eat your stuff because... Or cheese. Or cheese. Any mm -hmm. food, gone. He pretty much takes anything, even if your name's on it, so... Yeah, don't bother Sorry. putting your name on it. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I have come to love about Isaac is his just refined palate. He has got a just a, a chef's palate. He, he knows good food and he eats good food. Especially cheese, ice cream, and deep fried anything. Isaac knows how to cook it and he knows how to eat it. So you can look forward to that. Grilled cheese, you learned that at the Star Mill? Grilled cheese king, Isaac O'Hare. Bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> the man. Deep fried Snickers. So. Okay, well, I'm very excited. We're all excited to have you in our family now. It's pretty fun that a best friend is turning into a sister. And I'm so glad the secret's out because I've been holding it in for way too long, <laughs> hanging out with you. So we're excited. We love you. And we can't wait to see you and have you in our family. Congratulations. Congrats. Let's get a little Let's get a Davis Davis. shot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Caroline. I just want to congratulate you. Um, and just let you know how much I'm thankful that Isaac finally decided to ask you. It's been a long time coming, at least from where I've been sitting. Um, but I wanted to let you know a few things of what you're going to need to expect when you actually live with this guy. Um, you know, I think the biggest thing that I remember about living with Isaac is that he's quite a cuddler. Um, he, he's known for, for trying to, to get a little closer every time you're watching a movie with him. Um, just sitting next to him, you know, eating, eating. He's gonna, he's a cuddler, uh, a little spoon. If I remember, he likes to be the little spoon. Um, <laughs> but, but in all seriousness, uh, I think one of the things I remember most about Isaac and living with him is that he was very solid, always. Um, you know, when I felt like my world was spinning, I went and talked to Isaac, and you know, I felt a little more grounded. I felt a little more stable. Um, and that's something that you're going to really be able to enjoy and I think uh, look forward to as you grow in your, your uh, pending marriage with him. Um, but yeah, no, I'm so happy for you. Oh, shoot, if you hadn't uh, locked it up with him, I would try to. Um, <laughs> so I wish the best for you guys um, and I hope that uh, you have a, a great marriage. Caroline and Isaac, we're really happy for you guys. Caroline, just a few things to get you through these many years with Isaac and some things you get to look forward to. First of all, get rid of the Tennessee Volunteers. This is not going to be a house divided. Ike is a Carolina born and bred, and your kids are going to be the same way, right? Go Heels. Go Heels. All right, number two, Cheerwine. Yeah, Keep it yeah. in stock. Ike loves his Cheerwine. He is the czar of Cheerwine. And number three, look forward to laundry, laundry in the wintertime. All you need is two things, sweatpants go, go, and the sweatshirt. Go. Loves go, it, go, lives go. by it. Happy for you guys, proud of you, we love you, look forward to celebrating with you. Caroline, the fact that you accepted a proposal from a man who can't even change a tire on a car is a true testament to your love for Isaac. And remember, the engagement period is meant to give you plenty of time to change your mind. But if you follow through with this, just make sure that Isaac uses shaving cream when he shaves, make sure he showers regularly, and make sure he eats his vegetables. I love you guys. We're excited for you. Looking forward to the wedding. And uh, enjoy the engagement period. Can't wait to see the ring. Hey, Caroline. Congratulations on getting engaged. Uh, but if you're going to live with Isaac, there are a few things you should know. Like one, the dude loves to cuddle. 
anytime, anywhere, preferably in front of an NBA or an NFL football game. Also, if at night you can't find him, don't worry. He's probably found an outdoor prayer spot within walking distance of your house. And finally, the dude doesn't brush his teeth. Like, ever. No, seriously. He doesn't brush his teeth. Caroline, I hope you like tacos. Because living with Isaac, you're going to be dealing with Taco Tuesday every Tuesday. And I hope you like waiting on the bathroom. Because, man, that guy spends a long time in there. Hope you guys enjoy getting married and congratulations. Hi, Isaac and Caroline. First of all, I want to say congratulations. I think y'all are going to make a really good team together. And I can't wait to see what your life is going to behold. Isaac asked us if we could make a video for you, Caroline, so you will know all the great things about living with Isaac. Um, and there are so many, but I just want to highlight a few. Um, Isaac is really thoughtful and considerate. He always will remember something you said in passing, and he'll bring it back up weeks later and ask you how it's going. Um, he'll listen to you when you need to be listened to. He'll make a plan with you when you need someone to make a plan with, like a, how you're going to resolve whatever issue. Um, he's just really thoughtful and considerate. The next thing I have to say, Isaac always has a really good zinger. He'll always make you laugh when you're like having a really crappy day um, with a really cheesy, corny joke, but it's exactly what you needed to take a step back and get some perspective on the situation. Um, the next thing I want to say is like, you don't ever have to put on any airs around Isaac because he is very um, easy to be around. He makes everyone comfortable to be around. I mean, half the time he's in his sweats anyway, so you know he's not putting on any airs for anyone. Um, but Isaac just does a great job at letting people be who they are while he himself remaining who he is. Um, the last thing and one of the best things about Isaac is the awesome music that y'all are going to have blaring throughout your house. Whether you're in the car or going um, on a road trip or around the house, y'all are going to have some really great music and I want some of that. Now that's what Isaac and Caroline call music, one, two, three, volume, 67, whatever they're up to now. Um, but yeah, so these are just a little, this is just a little glimpse of all the great things you have to look forward to living with Isaac. Once again, congratulations and best wishes. I think y'all are great. Um, and I always got you back. All right, love y'all. Hey, Caroline and Isaac. This is Matt Hain, uh, wishing you hello and congratulations from Charlotte, North Carolina. Sorry I couldn't be up there today, I had a prior commitment. Um, but I'm really excited for you too, really wish I could have been there. Anyways, Isaac has asked all of his uh, former housemates to make a little video of what it's like to live with Isaac, just so you know what you're getting yourself into uh, before you take this leap. So uh, I just wrote out a couple quick things I thought I'd share with you. Number one probably already know by this point I would assume uh, which is that when it comes to brushing teeth dental hygiene Isaac is not known to be uh, the best of these things so my advice here would be just know what you're getting yourself into um, and you know we guys sometimes need a, a girl or a woman to watch after us and take care of us so uh, you might want to stock up on dental supplies Listerine toothbrushes make sure you make uh, calls to the dentist every six months to schedule this for Isaac um, that would probably be very helpful. Second thing I would say um, would be the way to Isaac's heart would have to be through his love for the Green Bay Packers. Um, if you really want to make Isaac's day, you know, birthdays, Christmas, um, little things like maybe memorizing the Green Bay Packers roster um, or maybe even wearing a cheese head for Isaac, I think might uh, get him really excited. Um, things like that. The man loves the Green Bay Packers more than anyone I've ever met. Uh, and that is probably the way to his heart um, to win his affection. Third thing would be um, just that Isaac was the most rock steady guy in our house, kind of on a spectrum from the year that uh, I lived together with Isaac. You have Harrison Brooks on one end where you never know what you're going to get, uh, running around the house, all kinds of crazy things, crazy ideas, just nonsense going on. And on the other end, you have Isaac, who's still a ton of fun, but uh, just very... Um, solid rock steady you knew what you were going to get out of him very reliable um, just kind of the glue and the concrete that held our house together that year um, we had a lot of a lot of uh, big personalities so uh, I'm very happy for you too and uh, I wish I could be there to celebrate 
but you guys have a great time today uh, enjoy it celebrate and uh, I wish you all the best for your many many happy years of marriage congratulations bye Isaac and Caroline, Ike and Carl, congratulations on the engagement. She said yes! All right, Caroline, you know I live with Isaac senior year at the D's, and I've got four things to tell you about living with Isaac. Number one, bro out. Isaac will watch t any TV show you want to watch. Senior year at the D's, Isaac and I, I think we spent, what was it, I two three, four days just watching episode after episode after episode of Band of Brothers. So Caroline, pick your favorite TV show, probably Sex in the City, and Isaac will watch it with you. Number two, pig out. Isaac doesn't brush his teeth. That's pretty disgusting. I wouldn't kiss that. Not that I would kiss that even if he did brush his teeth, but I digress. Anyway, number three, in all seriousness, Isaac will hear you out. He will listen, he will respond in love, and he's loyal. He's pretty much like Jesus, which insinuates the lamb behind me. Yeah, Ike? Number four, Isaac will break out. He's not afraid to do something a little crazy. Seductive dancing? Skimpy outfits? Something you have to look forward to on the honeymoon, Caroline. Why tell you about it when I can show you? Cue the tape, Cam. Ha, 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 ha.